Hey hey and what is going on everybody, it's Steven here and welcome back to another gaming peripheral review and today we're going to have a look at the ESA Spotter gaming mouse all along with the ESA's Hellbenter. So well, um, I have not seen any reviews online so probably um, this is the first one and I'm not really sure if you can already buy it but if you can do it um, there will be a link down below in the description. At least there's the link to the official website from ESA so make sure you check it out. Link is down below and now I would say let's get started and let me show you the products and explain everything a little bit. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so let's talk a little bit about the first product which is the ESA Spotter Gaming Mouse. I have it right over here, so the package, and it's really huge for a mouse. In there you will just find the mouse with the weights and then some paperwork. So um, it comes with a user manual, basically explains how to use it and to use the software suite, English, German, Chinese and I guess another form of Chinese but I don't know. And it comes with a warranty card. So actually I think it's a Chinese company, but pretty nice that they include a warranty card so they have support in German, English and Chinese, so very good. Alright, um, that's what you can find inside the box, so actually not too much, but now I want to have a closer look at the specs here. The specs here on the back side, so um, here you can see the technical specifications and it's an optical gaming mouse. Um, the sensor is optical as you can see, so um, the refresh rate 6600 frames per second. Then um, we have here for instance the speed, um, so the highest DPI or CPI, which is actually the correct word, it's 4000. Then I don't really care about the other numbers, so you can see here image processing around 6 megapixels um, per second and whatever, but really important for me is the weight. And it's around 160 grams plus minus. 15 grams. So yeah, I usually um, like it around 150, 160 um, grams, so that's really okay. And um, here you can see that it comes with different weights. So there are actually five different weights and you can um, find yourself the perfect weight. So um, you can adjust it as you will see a little bit later. It also comes with a nice gaming software, but you have to download that from the internet. It comes with Omron um, switches, so basically um, that are switches with 5 million clicks lifetime. So very nice quality. 64 kilobytes of onboard memory, so built in to store macros and your settings. Then it comes with a control key, so actually um, it says here seven programmable keys, and you can basically um, just rebind that in the software suite. 4000 dpi, as I've told you before. Then it's a gaming optical engine, so that should be very accurate, very fast. Then it also comes with a customizable light system, so basically you can set 16 million different colors. And um, there are also different effects like briefing and yeah, it's really, really cool. And it looks a little bit like a transformer as you will see just in a second. So that are basically the main specs of the mouse. And before we have a closer look at the product itself, I want to show you the accessory, so the EA72 Hellbenter. So guys, here's the next product, the ESA's Hellbenter. And well, it's a very funny thing. So it's basically a universal accessory. You don't need to have um, the Spotter gaming mouse in order to use that. You could also use it with your Logitech gaming mouse or whatever. But the Hellbenter is it's actually a nice thing because it's a cord holder for your for your mouse. Then it's a very nice accessory because it looks good. It's a USB hub um, which um, has two USB ports and also it comes with a detachable um, mini USB fan so this basically cools your hands. I've never heard of that before but um, I once played a tournament um, of a MOBA and my hands were very sweaty so I can imagine that this is maybe very cool especially in the summer. But we can have a look at the back side of the package and here you can see um, this is basically the cord holder so it guarantees unrestricted movement. Then it comes here with um, blue lighting. So the bad thing is that um, you cannot really adjust that. You have full RGB color adjustment on the gaming mouse but not here on the Hellbenter and I think it would be way better um, with um, full RGB backlight. But well, um, you can see it comes with two USB ports. Each of them can output 500 milliamps and yeah, 480 amps. So the USB 2 specification. This is not USB 3.0. Inside of the package you will find the user guide warranty card. So basically the same things I've shown you before. Alright, so that's the package and basically what the products can do. And now I would say let's have a closer look at the product itself. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the ESA Spotter gaming mouse. And the first feeling when I unpacked it and connected it to the computer it was just like, hey, this mouse is really big. So I have very big hands as you can see, but it feels quite long and if I put my hand on there you see um, I just 
barely can really cover the whole mouse here so it's very very big really huge and um, for instance in comparison to my Logitech G series it just feels a little bit bigger so if you have small hands then probably it feels a little bit um, too big for you but it really comes down to personal preference if you like big ones or not but um, I feel quite okay with that maybe a little bit too long but it's okay for me all right so let's talk a little bit about the design and the materials used so um, the buttons they feel very nice also really easy here to press and feels very good also the material here nice grip but also yeah um, it feels good when you slide over it so some nice easy glide material with also a lot of grip here on the left and on the right side you have basically some rubber pads for some additional grip we also have here the side key buttons like here for instance to go um, forth or back in the browser or whatever basically you can rebind every button in the software suit then if you have a look here at the front side, then you can see it looks like a face, transformer, or whatever. And basically we have um, RGB LED backlights and the mouse wheel here, 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 and here. So yeah, you will see it just in a second and it looks very, very good. There's also LED backlight here at the bottom. So on the back side here and here um, in the front. So that looks very nice, just like a race car, whatever. Now, um, here's also the cable. As you can see, it's coming out here of the front side, so the bottom. Um, very stiff, so um, very good protection too. Then the cable, yeah, let's stick with the cable. It's 1.5 meter long, and at the end of the cable, you have this gold-plated USB connector here with the ESAS logo. So it looks like some very nice quality. Then, um, yeah, as I've told you before, we have additional buttons. So here are also two buttons um, on the top side. And you can basically use them by default to change the DPI settings. And when you change the DPI settings, also the color of the mouse wheel changes. So I think that's very cool. Gives it some unique look and you always know which DPI settings you're currently using. Um, on the right side here, we have some more rubber pads for additional grip and also some different materials. So this is very shiny, hard plastic here with the ESAS logo. Then here on um, the back side, so a bottom side actually, um, we have here Teflon gaming pads. Um, basically this gives you really the best feeling on any surface if you slide the mouse around. So um, always feels quite smooth, um, easy glide, but um, it also gives you some nice grip. Okay, um, we can see here is the butter, yeah, basically the rating of the sensor, eSport gaming mouse. Here's the sensor. And here we have the weight cartridge. Now let me open it up and there we go. And in there you can see the weights and let's get them out. So basically to get them out, you just have to flip the mouse over and then they come out easily as you can see. Now the weights themselves, um, they look very cheap. So you can see it looks like there would be already corrosion on there. So um, yeah, um, the weights, the only function is to make the mouse heavier. So I don't really care about the quality of the weights, but this could look maybe a little bit better. At least they could be painted because yeah it doesn't seem to be the best material now without the weight um, it feels actually very lightweight um, I'm using it with all the weights in so this is actually the perfect weight for me for some reason okay um, that's it so basically that's the mouse here from all sides and looks very good so we have now closed the weight cartridge I hope I didn't forget anything but I have to say um, the look is very nice the feeling is okay and the size is maybe not the perfect size for me but yeah it's still quite usable but the design is just super awesome so here's the next product the ESAS Hellbenter so let's talk a little bit about that and yeah here you can see the device itself without anything attached so it's basically an USB hub it comes with a um, fan and also it's a cord holder but well um, you can see it comes with a wire um, which you have to connect to your computer so um, basically this is a 1.5 meter um, USB cable at the end we have here some gold plated USB connector to connect it to your computer well USB 2.0 and the whole device here only supports USB 2.0 now here's the device you can see it so some very nice design um, here the ESAS logo and for sure this has blue LED backlight so it looks really super awesome then um, this device is also a USB hub so basically here on the right side you have one USB port as you can see and here on the left side there's the second USB port so you plug in one USB connector to your um, computer and you get two USB ports but actually just one additional one because yeah one is already used all right um, then here at the bottom side and this thing is actually quite heavy and has rubber pads here on the bottom side so that um, it does not slide around on your desk and this is really important and um, yeah we have here the cable holder 
And um, this one here is made out of, I'm not really sure what's the material. So here we have some very soft rubber and here we have some hard rubber plastic in there, maybe also some metal in there to give it some extra stiffness. And basically you have to attach it to the Hellbenter and um, then um, you can put in the cable of your mouse like this. Um, I will just show you that with the mouse in a second. So basically this just holds um, the cable and as you can see I can move that around but the whole thing here is not moving. So it just holds your cable and you have really unrestricted movement with a gaming mouse and there's really absolutely no drag from the cable. Very cool. The last thing um, is this um, USB fan and you see it's a very small fan so I guess it's like 20 millimeters. Um, comes here with the ESAS logo and we have here a mini USB connector. If you have a closer look at the um, Hellbenter you can see here's a mini USB port. So what you have to do is you just slide in here the um, USB fan and there you go. And if you connect this um, to the computer with the USB cable, the fan starts up. Unfortunately, you always have to connect it and disconnect it. It would be really nice if there would be a switch or whatever, so you just press it and um, yeah, it starts to blow because always connecting it and disconnecting it, it's just a little bit annoying. But I have to say it's a very cool feature. So um, if you play it like this, you can cool your, your hands and you can also just um, yeah, have your cable in the Hellbenter, which is a very nice thing too. All right, so that's the product. Um, I would say um, let's connect now everything to my computer so I can show you how it works. Oh yeah, so everything is now connected to my notebook and now let me show you how it works and how it looks like. All right, so we have here the Hellbenter and as you can see, it's up and running. We have here the ESAS logo with blue LED backlight. Unfortunately, you can't change the color, so this is blue only. Now the mouse, so um, the spotter is connected with the USB cable to one of the USB ports, so the right one. The left one is still free. You can use now a USB drive, you can use your keyboard um, with the USB port here. But I have to say, um, if you're going to use a USB drive, maybe the speed is limited, so just keep that in mind. All right, so you can see the mouse, um, basically the cable, so the cord is in the bungee here, and that's a very cool thing. Um, let me remove that just for a second to show you that. So you just put in here your cable like that, and now, um, yeah, the movement is almost drag free. So that's the actual advantage. Now it really feels like there would be no cable. So the cable can't get stuck anywhere. This is really useful sometimes. If the cable is coming out um, behind your desk or whatever, so maybe it doesn't sharp edge, the cable gets scratched or whatever, gets broken, or maybe um, yeah, it just gets stuck and you lose because you can't aim or whatever. And um, it feels um, actually really good to play with that. Um, maybe you have to get a little bit used to that because um, yeah, I'm um, if you move the mouse um, forward or backwards, you really have to play around with the cable length, so what feels good for you. But I have to say, once you find the correct settings, um, it's very nice. Now, the next thing I want to show you is that um, USB fan. And you know, sweaty hands, um, if you're a pro gamer, or in the summer it can get very hot, so we have here this um, little fan. And I have to say, I am um, yeah I'm not going to use that at all um two reasons it's very loud you see it's on very small fans actually the diameter is like 20 millimeters or maybe a little bit less and um it spins up um actually quite high and then gets very loud so let me show you that <clears throat> sorry and there we go so I'm not really sure if you can hear it, so I guess yes a little bit in the background, but it's actually quite loud and it gets annoying if you use it for work. Now if you're gaming then you have a headset and actually um, you don't hear it, but um, if you play with the speaker, so if you do work then I wouldn't use it because it's really very loud. Now regarding, um, yeah, regarding the power, it's actually quite powerful because it spins up with very high RPMs and you can still feel the air like here. 20 centimeters away from the fan so after 20 centimeters you don't feel it anymore so you have to use your mouse somewhere here in this area to really get your hands cold. Now honestly it would be way better with a button as I've told you before just to press it to switch it off would be way better in my opinion because connecting it and disconnecting it's just annoying after some time and yeah I also got my finger stuck here in in the fan oh holy crap yeah um, this is the only thing I don't like so much the fan here could be a better solution but I have to say um, that bungee here um, feels very good and I've never used it before but I have to say I think I'm going to use it because of the um, yeah of the additional USB port and also because yeah um, the mouse cable is always in the perfect position all right guys um, then now let's go to the computer and let me show you the software suite a little bit so what you can do oh yeah so we're now here on my notebook and now let me quickly show you here the software suite and what you can adjust here so you have to download that from their official web page link down below in the description 
And yeah, when you install that, you can see here the mouse and here you can see at the bottom that this here is multi-language. So we have English, yeah, some different forms of Chinese or Japanese and here at the bottom German. Um, the mouse comes with seven buttons, actually nine, um, if you keep in mind the mouse wheel is also a button, so up and down, but usually everybody's using that for scrolling. So basically seven customizable buttons, actually nine if you use the mouse wheel too. Now here you have the button assignment, so basically you can choose what each button should do. For instance, if you want to rebind any of the buttons, you just have to search here for the number, and then you can, for instance, assign the click button to it, menu button, middle button, forward, backward, scroll up, whatever. Um, there are also cool things like, for instance, shortcuts, macros, or scripts. And we have here, for instance, classical scripts for shooting games, shot left three times, shot right three times, auto adjust shotgun, fire key. And basically, that's also the script store, and you can basically also load up your custom scripts, which is a very cool thing. You can switch between DPI settings, for instance, to cycle up and down, quick launch, you can have apps um, opening up on the button. So for instance, if you press the button, it opens up the media player, open driver, or you can just disable the button if you don't want to use it at all. Regarding the macros, you can record macros here in the software suite. And yeah, you can go here to create new one. And first of all, you have to um, get yourself a new one and a new name. And there we go, test number two. And I have to say it's okay, but you can only record um, yeah, the keyboard buttons. For instance, yeah, what I press here now on the keyboard. Because as you can see, if I want to track mouse movement, it's not possible. And this is something which I want to see in the software suite because this is really useful. I want to see mouse movement with coordinates in there, then it would be awesome. But just here, for instance, with the buttons on the keyboard, it's not so useful for me, but still very useful for MMORPGs or whatever. Here you can also just move up and down the delete actions or whatever, but it's not so customizable like um, other macro applications I've seen before. Here we have performance, and here for instance the Windows pointer speed can be adjusted directly in the software suite, mouse acceleration can be enabled or disabled, the vertical scroll, uh, scroll speed, the polling rate between 125Hz up to 1GHz, um, double click speed, so between slow and fast, I just keep it here on default, so the settings are actually quite okay. Then here for instance um, the settings for DX and Y axis. Um, you can have here up to four different settings regarding of the DPIs. So here, for instance, you can set different DPIs for each axis, but I would usually link them um, if you're not somehow into some special gaming or whatever. Okay, then here we have different light profiles. As you can see, this is a full RGB color changer. So sorry, it makes just some strange sound when I use that. But um, you have here a color slider. As you can see, you can go here for all the colors you want to. And let's um, try a red color. Um, you have your different light effects like off, fully lighted, which is very strong, medium, so not so strong or very weak, so you can barely see that. So let's apply that. And for instance, if you have now a closer look at my mouse and you can see that's actually um, in red and that's very cool. You can also um, turn on or off the briefing effect. Actually, I don't like this so much, so I just switch it off. But yeah, you can have every different color. You can have blue, um, this is actually, I think, the default color. You can have green, which looks very nice too. You can even have pink if you want to, or purple. And yeah, there are actually no limits. I'm not sure what's black, actually. I've never seen that before. Well, I'm not really sure. I think it's just nothing. Um, and here, purple, which looks also very nice. So yellow, every color you want to. And that's, that's a very cool thing. Um, the mouse wheel, by the way, um, if you use the DPI switcher, it also changes the color usually. So that's a very cool thing and also yeah, um, gives it some very nice look. Then here we have different profiles, like um, you can have a lot of different profiles and you can have a button, so basically rebind a button on the mouse to switch between the profiles. Standard gaming, office, custom, whatever. And yeah, um, here you can also um, you can also tick um, something to open up an application, or oh, it's very customizable. And that is actually also the last thing we have here. So profiles, and the last thing we have here is support. So um, if you need anything, you can go here to um, the website or send an email or check here for the updates. All right, so what I like is basically that it's really in full RGB color changer and has some very nice effects and gives it some really, really cool look. Um, I didn't like that um, actually you can't um, read 
called um, yeah the, the mouse position in the macros but the rest is very nice it's easy to use it's customizable you can um, rebind all the buttons you can have different profiles and that's it so some very lightweight software suit and gives you all the features you need on a gaming mouse okay that's it that's the mouse itself and now let's come to my final feedback all right, we're now here at the end of this review of the ESA Spotter and the Hellbenter. And I have to say, um, two nice products. I really like the Hellbenter and um, I also like the Spotter. Just a form fact on the Spotter, it doesn't really fit my hand so good. So actually, I prefer the Logitech G502 just because it feels a little bit more ergonomic. But I have to say, um, it really comes down to personal preference. As you can see, my hands are really, really huge, actually. Now, regarding the Hellbenter, it's absolutely absolutely nice. I've never had such a thing and first of all I thought it's yeah it's some useless crap but no this thing is actually really great and it helps really a lot in games so that your mouse cable doesn't get stuck. Um, the fan in my opinion it's kind of useless honestly I won't use that and it's also very loud if you don't use a headset it's kind of annoying. Um, I really like the USB hub function so that you can use um, a second USB port. Um, nice for the keyboard maybe not so nice for USB drives because of the limited bandwidth but still a very nice product so I'm not really sure about the price because I couldn't find it online as soon as um, I will get the link um, I will put it online so you can check it out um, the mouse itself so to come down to um, the performance I played Counter-Strike Global Offensive I played Minecraft and I have to say I played on um, mid DPI so around 2000 um, yeah it, it was actually quite good you can actually adjust it from yeah from zero up to 4000 DPI and um, at maximum yeah, the sensor still feels very good, just a little bit um, of chitter, but I have to say um, the sensor is very good, even though it's maybe not in high number like 12,000 DPI's like in some other m mice, but I have to say um, the sensor in here is very good. What I don't like is another thing that, yeah, I told you before, it's really hard to clean it. Um, dirt easily comes into the slots here or the depressions here, and then it's really hard to get it out. But the LED backlight looks super awesome, it's fully customizable. Regarding the software suit it would be really nice um, if you could record um, the mouse movement in the macros too this would be super awesome just like in other software suits this is missing I think and the rest yeah rest is really nice really comes down to personal preference there are um, other gaming mice with more customizable buttons but I have to say they are really nice to reach the basic buttons here at the top and that's it for me so this is everything I need so I really enjoyed testing the ESA spotter there will also be a written review on my blog um, when it comes online this this week and there can also find updates so this is still a very new product so I will try to provide um, updates because I'm now using that as my main mouse on my notebook so you'll probably see an updated review online on itxstudio.com all right guys thank you so much for watching now have a nice day see you soon in the next one bye bye